I'm out here geocaching, and I've actually tried to find this one several times. I thought it was in here, and I was right. It's just, it was missing when I was looking for it before. So, yeah. It's kind of an easy spot, and I was wondering why I couldn't find it before, but it's because it was not there. But it's there now, so now I can log my find. Yay! Okay, so I'm at the location of another one right now. This isn't really close. I don't even know what this place is. It's weird. It's probably... Oh! There it is! Found it. That was easy. So they're supposed to have opened a new road that basically parallels the freeway. I guess it's supposed to help clear congestion or something. Make it less traffic on the freeway, so... I'm going to start at one end and see how far this road goes, if it's actually open or not. I haven't actually been down it yet, so um, we'll see. we got to just go through this roundabout, which here in California, there aren't many and people don't really get how to navigate them. So, yield to this guy and then go in, go around and don't worry about people really, just watch. Oh, easy enough. And this road used to continue straight across and go over the freeway. It used to just go straight through over that way, but now there's a, uh, an intersection. And this way over here is the new way. So it used to just continue over there. But I'm gonna go this way on the new road and see how far it goes. It's gonna be cool if it, if it actually uh, connects. It'd be interesting. If I were to take the freeway, I would have come out over there. So that's the new road. A lot of it you probably didn't see because I cut it. Or I'll make it go fast. Mm. I'm home. I logged my finds and updated my profile with all my new informations. And now I'm going to work. But my brother had to take the truck because he's. Uh, he got a different job in Hayward, like I said yesterday, uh, a couple days ago. He was going to Hayward. And um, I guess it's a sound job, and they have an extra soundboard that's been in storage for a long time. And they asked him if he wanted it, so he's like, yeah, I want it. So he's taking the truck so you can bring the soundboard home because it's hard to bring a soundboard home on a motorcycle. Which means I have to ride to work in the rain because it's raining now. And I got to ride to work, so... See you later. So I'm home from work. It was kind of a long day. I was doing internationals. And then there was also a, a damaged package, which I had to repack. Um, it was a lot of damages. No. What am I saying? There's a lot of internationals. And two companies, I won't mention names, but they did not update their invoice uh, in our system. So basically there was four pages of uh, line items which I had to manually input, which was annoying. It took about 20 minutes to key enter. Normally I can just, you know, go to it, scan it, 
make sure everything's good, put a sticker on it, and it's good. It takes maybe a minute or two at the max. And this one took like 20 to 25 minutes to do. So, and then that happened twice. So, I was behind because of that. And then, I, there was also a damage, which I had to do afterwards because I was doing the internationals the whole night, so. It was a late night tonight, but that's okay. That's okay. I'm home now. And I'm making corn dogs. Look, I'll show you. Even though you probably know what corn dogs look like, but I'm making them. Also, my sister was looking around on my mom's desk and found a little notebook, and guess what was in it? Yes, there's a check. A check for me. And it was written December 25th, 2006. Almost four years ago from my grandparents to me as a pre uh, gr Christmas present and um yeah it's still there they never gave it to me so I'm gonna have to ask my mom about that tomorrow but anyway I'm gonna have my corn dogs and then I'm gonna go whatever edit the video I guess so I'll see you guys tomorrow later